Hi, Jan here, and I'm just coming on for a very quick update on what's happening with the cloak. Um, this is the cloak that I'm making for Neil's birthday, which is now tomorrow. And the sad news is it's not going to be done in time for his birthday. I've done the 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 wool part of it. Um, I finished cutting out in in the last video that I did. Um, that's now all been stitched together, the wool part of it, which is the outer section of the cloak. I did that all on my sewing machine, which um, it's just an old Toyota, very basic sewing machine that I've had for donkey's years, but it does everything that I need it to do in regards of um, straightforward sewing. But I wanted to do the lining using the overlocker. So it's got a really nice, because it's satin and it frays, I wanted a, a really nice neat finish on, on the lining. But the tension's off on the overlocker, so it's going to take me a while to sort that out. And um, I'm also, um, my shoulder's a bit arthritic here at the moment, and it's very, very cold up here. The light went hours ago, so that part of it is going to have to, be another day I'm not going to be able to finish that today so basically what I've got to do the lining is all cut out I've just got to sew the lining together basically making it exactly the same as I've made with the wool and then stitch the lining and the and the main part together and then just get the uh, the length right and that done but Neil has said he's he'd rather have it done right than done for tomorrow he said he's not going to wear it tomorrow so it doesn't matter if it takes another week or whatever and we'd been held up because the lining took so long to be delivered i ordered it all on uh well new year's eve so i had it all ordered in time but I had to wait so long for the lining to arrive and then just got busy doing other things different projects and things but I wanted to get as much shown to you as I could but I didn't show the actual sewing of it because it's so loud you can't talk over it and it's pretty boring isn't it really just watching material go through a sewing machine so I thought there's no point showing you that um probably I'll do the the stitching on the overlocker um without filming it and I do have this problem, as I said in the last video, if I film in this room, if I have you that side, then it means that the rest, it's so awkward to walk, it, I've got a tiny little bit, bit of space in here, only just big enough to put table up. So it's much better for me if you're that end, but then you can't see anything because when it's light enough to work, the light's all wrong, so just um it's just not happening at the moment but um it is his birthday tomorrow so he wants us to go to pizza hut we've now decided that we're going to go to pizza hut around about lunch time and then to the cinema in the afternoon he wants to watch avatar the um i don't know what avatar I, we saw the first one this is something to do with with water I'll have to tell you after because I don't know at the moment but I'm sitting here talking to you and I'm physically shivering so I'm gonna have to leave this room because it is now just too cold to be in here but I just wanted to film just a little bit so that I could upload the other film that I've done get it all onto YouTube and say this is not the end of the story but we're getting closer and you can actually see you can just about see hanging on the back of the door that is the cloak as it is well you can't see it you can just see a bit of black there that's the cloak as it is so far and so far so good it's looking good he's very happy with it but just got to get that lining done and it's all down to the serger or overlocker if you prefer and then the hemming and then it actually does look really good. I'm very pleased with that part of it so far. But now my phone's lost uh, lost contact. But I'm 
so that'll be it for now and I'll talk to you again tomorrow when I've done the next bit. Bye!